Well, in today's health, we're talking about medicine safety. It's an important topic because the CDC is estimating that 82% of Americans take at least one medication and that 29% of people take five or more. So to keep all of that managed is, is tough. In the meantime, drug-related complications are on the rise, sending about 1.3 million people to an ER every single year. That's a lot of people. Welcome, yeah. Teresa Parker, the owner of RN for you, to tell us about this and how we navigate these waters. Okay, Teresa, 29% of the American population taking five medications or more seem like a very high number. Is there one group of this population that is affected by this more than others? Yes, absolutely. And who is that group? That would be the senior population. There was a national study performed in 1998, and it actually revealed that over 40 percent of seniors at that time were taking five or more medications and those were seniors living in the home not in a facility not in the hospital mm. where you would expect more right and that's a lot to manage for yes. anyone but especially someone who's getting a little older in their years so exactly. you can imagine I mean we all can imagine how easy it would be to kind of mess up when you're supposed to take it, what you're supposed to take, and how much of it. Exactly. So we often hear the word polypharmacy. What does that mean? How is that word used? What is it? Polypharmacy is a term used to mean five or more medications being taken together to manage coexisting health problems. And it often comes into play with seniors again when they're taking five or more medications at once and it becomes an issue mm -hmm. when seniors visit more than one doctor who practice mm -hmm. independently. Right. For instance, if a senior has a physician, their primary care physician would be with Atrium, but they would see a specialist outside of the Atrium network. And those doctors don't communicate with one another. And so this cross-pollination of, of medicines could be really detrimental to a senior? Correct. Really Correct. detrimental to anyone, right? And even like vitamins. Because I, I know that I, when you go into a doctor and they ask what medications are you taking, they also mean vitamins, supplements, things like that as well. Correct. Because it can and have a lot an of people, impact. A lot of people don't think that. They right. don't share those kind of things with their doctor. And seniors, a lot of times, and not just seniors, anybody anyone, really, yeah. but you don't. If, you, if you're going to different doctors and the electronic records don't communicate with each other, then your primary care doctor doesn't know what other doctors are prescribing. So if we're putting the onus on the seniors. What does some seniors do to help, help and kind of eradicate this problem that we're talking about? Is it a list that we're talking about? Is it a message that they bring a list to each doctor when they have to bring their medicines? What do they have to do? A list is great. All nurses and doctors recommend that everybody, especially a senior, because we tend to forget more at that age, have a list. List, uh, list everything, your prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, vitamins and supplements, along with the dosages dosages that you take. You can even take them with you, I guess, if that's, you, you know, if, if you don't want to write out everything. You can. You take a lot. Yeah. Sometimes that becomes a really big bag. That's true. So the doctor would prefer if you have the list. So what, are, the, some, what are, the, are some other safety tips that people should be adhering to? Okay. The first one would be to take your medications as prescribed. And that would be to uh, have a routine. A routine is simple. Keep it simple as possible. Have a pill box. A pill box, there are different ones. You can get big ones, small ones, ones that have just one, one pill a day, two pills a day, however. But keep it as simple as possible. Set an alarm. Set alarm on your mm. clock, on your phone, whatever it takes to keep it's simple for you. Just remember to take your medications and don't skip I want, doses. I want people to get a chance okay, to, see these, sure. to see these pill boxes that you're talking about. I mean, you see them at like about. CVS and places like that you all can. the time. And they're and cheap. It's super helpful, though. Yes. Like, this could be the difference between someone really injuring themselves, taking the wrong medicine or not taking it. Yes. And, and not and having very high functioning with the right. medications they need. This one has um, for the morning a morning dose and a PM dose, the afternoon or evening dose. Mm -hmm. And that one has just one one time a day, but it has you know it's really big and you can see it if somebody has bad eyesight. Okay, do we have to be aware of like potential drug interaction between these? Yes. And how how important is that? Drug interactions are very important, and that goes along with a, a patient that's seeing different doctors, and the doctors don't communicate, then the doctors don't know what interactions are involved, and so those interactions could include bleeding, weight mm -hmm. loss, nausea, low blood pressure, 
and respiratory complications and sometimes even death. Oof. So how important is it? I mean, I think with each and every doctor, you would think that they would be open to reviewing the medications and then contacting their other doctors if they know that they exist, right? They do. They've just got to be aware. And that's really important. That's another safety mm -hmm. tip is to review your medications with your doctor. Again, that list, take that list and show them. They're always open to it if you just will take it and reveal it to right. them. Well, Teresa, there is a day that's coming up where people can get rid of unwanted or unused medications. What is it? What is it? It's Saturday, April 27th, between the hours of 10 and 2 at the local um, police departments and some of the local pharmacies, CVS and Walgreens. You just have to contact your local pharmacy and see if they're one that's participating. Is take back any prescription drugs. So you shouldn't be putting it in the, down the toilet or things no, like no, that? No, 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 right? no. Don't okay. do that. But this is to get rid of your old, unused, unwanted mm. drugs. And it's so that people don't become confused and accidentally take that medication. Or somebody doesn't come in your house and get them and take them right. for recreational purposes. That can be very dangerous for anyone. Wow, Teresa, thank you very, very much. It can be dangerous for yeah. anyone. Make sure we follow these guidelines. Yes. If you have any questions for Teresa, she's happy to help you. Visit rn for you. That's rn4u.com. rn4u, no spelling.com. All right.